it has been pretty rough. The roads have been pretty icy. Jacqueline Brown tells us her drive on I-75 and I-675 this morning was an adventure. She says a thin sheen of ice made the ride to work tricky. Brown is frustrated because she claims the Michigan Department of Transportation is dropping the ball. She wants us to ask them the tough questions. I never see a salt truck out in the morning, so... No, I don't think they're doing their job. So we did stop by MDOT today to find out how they felt about handling this morning's road conditions. Last night we had somebody out at 11 o'clock, and then at 3 o'clock we actually called in additional forces. So they were out salting all of our roadways from about 3 o'clock on, and then even more people came in um, prior to the morning commute this morning. MDOT spokesperson Greg Brunner stands behind the work his crews performed this morning. We asked him if MDOT could have pre-treated the roads to reduce ice. He told us in this case that wasn't possible. Some of those are based on humidity, dew point, temperature, wind, and we kind of evaluate all those leading up to a storm. And unfortunately yesterday with the heavy amount of humidity, those wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have really been the right time to apply material. Brunner says at the end of the day, drivers need to be more vigilant about the roads they use to get to where they're going. You have to remember that it's winter, so we asked... Again, even though it's posted as 70 miles an hour out there, you cannot drive at 70 at all times. So we ask motors to do their part to drive diligently as conditions warrant. Getting back to Brown, she thinks MDOT just needs to do a better job. I'm hoping that, to see some salt trucks out there, you know, so we have a safe ride to work. Asking the tough questions in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.